Learn Mark blockchain for 10 minutes. Hello, everyone. Uh, today we'll talk about uh, deploy workup prediction little the app. Uh, so we will do it in four steps. Uh, the first is a uh, fetch the code from GitHub. Second, we will explain the code. Third, we will deploy the code. And fourth, uh, we will play with the code. So first of all, let's uh, get the code. So it's at the uh, GitHub slash B-I-A-J-E-E -E slash Noak World Cup 2018. Uh, so I'll skip the, the clone part of the GitHub code. So we'll directly go into the folder, uh, the files and the folders. So as we can see that there are two folders. One is the Solidity folder. The other one is the test folder. So let's get into the Solidity folder first. OK, so uh, we, we see the workupfund.sol. That's the major uh, contract file for this contract, for this workup uh, prediction app. Uh, so at the beginning, there are a lot of uh, uh, variables and constructs. You can see the constructors and uh, some normal set hard, set founder, normal um, functions, utility functions. And at, at, we also have a business logic like add contributor, add match, add team, finalize match, champion bet, single match bet. And also we have uh, send out a champion reward some help, helper function like add win amount, send out top bonus, manual transfer these is safety send out and the, the default payable function. Those are the safety functions so that when somebody sent my coin to this contract, we can safely to send it out. Um, so with that, that's the major solidity contract code and also we have two helper contract one is the match helper contract the other one is a champion helper contract they they are essentially doing the same thing is we create a contract so that if if the person bet on a specific team they don't need to send in the data input uh, because for a lot of layman people uh, it's really hard for them to input the data especially the the hex data into into a transaction so by doing this kind of a helper uh, helper contract we can uh, avoid this kind of a data input in the transaction and uh, also one major file is uh, in the test folder the test.js also before that uh, let me show you the one other utility a file is the compiled script.js, which will compile all the Solidity code. Um, and uh, after the compilation, it will go, uh, the compilation will, will give us uh, three different files. One is the ABI, the other is the bytecode, and third one is the function hash. So with these three things, uh, we can start to build our con contracts. So let's use everything here. So first, I'll load the contracts. Let's go to the um, mark uh, terminals. So on, on our left-hand side, we will start a mark uh, node, which is a V node. Oh. So let's see uh, what's happening here. Okay, oh, nice. Some other file is using using this port. Sorry about that. Okay, now let's keep doing what we are going to do. So let's start a V node for, for the mark. Let's set the, here we set the specific data directory and the specific network ID and also we set the JavaScript path so that we can run the JavaScript easily. 
So here, as soon as we started, we have a IPC. So we need to copy this IPC, and uh, on the other, uh, uh, another uh, another terminal will start uh, the mock attaching with this IPC and uh, add a JS path here. So same thing. So see it, it's attached. So let's start the mine mining process, and everything is local just uh, for the sake of a uh, uh, simplicity. And so what we have is uh, we have a we have a three accounts. One account is the for the Coinbase account, which is the index zero. And also we have account index one, account index two. You see all of them have some money in it. And the second account has like a 50 mark coin and the third one has a 100 mark coin. And so first, before we do anything, let's unlock all those accounts to make the demonstration easy. Uh, MC accounts, let's see, this is a little bit too big. Okay, and because it's a test, so we can do things like that. Oops. Let's see. Okay, we unlock the first account, then we unlock the second account. And then we unlock the third account. All right, so so now we load the test file, load a script, test.js two, meaning it loads successfully. Then we load the contracts. Remember, we compile. We have the compiled script .js, which compile all the files. So now we load all these contracts, and then we will create the major contract here, Coinbase. OK. So it, when it's mining successfully, it will return the, the address. So here. As you can see, is uh, on the left hand side is a uh, uh, producing the DAG right now. So it takes a while before the contract can produce uh, to have a real meaning. Yeah. Okay. Now it's mine. So right now, after that, we will add team. Add team. So let's say one one Russia. Uh, so. One one means that Russia is in the uh, group A first team. And also let's add team one two Saudi Arabia. Okay. <clears throat> now we added two team. So and also we can add a match. So for the simplicity we use this already. Existing, so I changed the time, starting time, so that because it's it's already in the knockoff stage right now, so the the match is already expired. So I changed the uh, time, starting time of the match, so that we can still do the bet. Okay, so at match here, that's the means. This is the first match between Russia and Saudi Arabia and. The long number here is the starting time of this match. So after we added the match, so we can send some coin to that um, specific contract. So what we do is uh, send from Coinbase and uh, to this contract WC address. So the amount is 100. 
because there are some uh, like a, a early bird bonus and uh, account creation bonus so we need some uh, more coin to to do that so that's how we do it and also we have a match we have teams so let's uh, start the bet and uh, as you can see we have a scripted just for that and uh, so the first parameter is the account index and the second is the match number third one is the result result one is a zero it's a away team win uh, one is a one it's a draw and one is two it's a home team win and the amount if is the amount of mark coin you want to get into it so let's say from account index one which is the second account and the match number is one and the result is a two meaning russia is winning and so we put in ten dollar ten mark coin that's the first person the next person is uh, let's say two the second account in the first match uh, saying oh Saudi Arabia will win and uh, he bet 20 more coin. All right, now we have two matches and uh, let's see, get match info one. As you can see that this is the match information and uh, there's some money in, in it. Now we can uh, set the match result, set match result. The first match, home score five, Russia scored five, and Arabia scored a zero. Okay. And then if you get the match information, there's a second. Okay, now as soon as on the left hand side, it's mined. You can see that it's a 5 0, and this true means the match is finished. And now let's distribute the, uh, not champion bet, distribute the match bet. Let's see where it is. Oh, okay. it's over here. Distribute the match bet, match number one. And as soon as we run it, so originally we have one account 50, one account 100. So when, okay, now on the left hand side it's mined. So let's see, get balance MC accounts one okay now because this guy wins win the bet so he got a 20 back and uh, the other guy because he didn't get the correct bet so what he get is a is nothing because originally he has a 100 and now he's a He's in his 80s, so original 100. This guy original 50. Okay, so this is basically how the uh, betting works. And uh, also, we have a website for that, which uh, is called Crypto Cryptoxy.us. And uh, the the prediction here become very easy, and uh, you can use a cell phone a wallet called a token pocket as you can see this is a token pocket and uh, the website for token pocket is uh, uh, my token pocket dot VIP so you can download the uh, wallet for your Android cell phone or iOS cell phone and uh, so whenever you have a you, you have your app, you can scan, actually see, let me scroll all the way to the 
incoming game. The World Cup is almost finished with only four games left. So for example, this is uh, for Belgium to win. So if we want to bet on it, when we click it, we have a barcode and uh, uh, not a barcode, a QR code. If we scan the QR code with our wallet, we can use our wallet to sign this uh, transaction and uh, make a bet onto it. So thank you everyone and hopefully you have a great one. Thanks.